to the channel. This is an impromptu live video, and I know I said that I was going to um, announce it beforehand. I'm trying to get a little consistent, but you know, these live videos, they can just, they honestly help me create more content faster, especially in situations like this where there's not a lot of editing to do. If you're in the chat, say hi. I can see uh, actually M. Harrison Allen say, <laughs> what's up, man? So, uh, I am staying in an Airbnb and uh, this video is going to be about that Airbnb, this tour I'm in, because I'm actually in a one euro home community and I hope that the audio is okay, it's echoey in here. So I've got the external mic set up, hoping that helps a little bit. So this is the Airbnb that we picked up and I'm going to show you the tour. I'm waiting for a few more people to come in just in case, but I'll tell you what's been happening today. Um, we were just in Gubbio last night and Gubbio is like six hours away. And in the middle of, I see a few people commenting, I have to turn the camera to see what's going on, but the um, Gubbio is a medieval city, it's beautiful, and I've got lots to share about it. Afterwards, we went 20 minutes away to a one-year home community that actually does have property left uh, that I'll be sharing with you soon. And then we traveled basically directly down here, it took like six hours, uh, we stopped a few, one time. And then on the way here, I don't know, we took the Google roads and they're not always the best plan. They think they know better, but the, the locals know the better streets that are ones that are well taken care of. So the whole way in the dark, we were a little bit <laughs> like shocked by what we were seeing. But when we entered the community, uh, we are in Zungoli and uh, it's in Avalino in Campania down, like basically between Naples and Bari or Foggia actually. And so uh, we're gonna show you the tour right now I think it costs us a little over 100 euros and mostly that was because this thing is set up so that there's three bedrooms it's a whole house you rent it's got three bedrooms you're going to see them but we're in a family of five we're only using two so they went ahead and locked the third bedroom but the kitchen the living room everything is of full use to us if you're coming with less people then you kind of pay a lower rate it's kind of standard in this area anyway i'm going to turn it around so i can see who's been commenting and show you the rest of the apartment. So I'll probably answer some questions about the chat as we go through. So, I'll, okay, really look forward to what you think of this place and here, here too, awesome. So let's go ahead, I'll try to keep it steady. I don't have the gimbal, so I'll walk slow. Um, so here is the entryway. There's actually some pretty cool photos of Zungoli, I assume Zungoli. And uh, this is a one-year-old home community. Uh, something cool I'll share at the end of the video. Uh, this is a castle that is in, hey, Joyce from Australia, <laughs> welcome. Uh, this is the castle, honestly, this is the picture of our Airbnb when you first reserved this place and it was a little tricky. I thought honestly we were gonna stay in the castle at first and then I was like, nah, that's probably not the case. Anyway, so here are some, here are some photos. Uh, hey, I know you. <laughs> hey, thanks, Fuzzy. So uh, here we go. So let's just look around for a second. It's I mean it's a pretty standard. They've modernized this property. We are in the historical center. I don't. I haven't checked to see like how often they they're full. Um, yeah, bella <laughs> bella videri la tua faccia. Yeah, it's good to see you too. So uh, they've got this nice fireplace, the kitchen. This is pretty much a standard Italian style kitchen, kind of a modern style. And the, ki the kitchen is well kept together. I think the only purpose for this property is Airbnb or VRBO. And uh, they've decorated it kind of a bright pink. Upstairs is purple. All right, so we're gonna go around. And I'm showing you this because I'm literally right here in this community. And sometimes we talk about one-year home communities like, could I have an Airbnb there? Well, this one happens to have, yeah, Joyce, you're right, it is Italian looking. This one happens to have uh, an Airbnb in it. And this place is, is just, I like it, honestly. So it's well kept. It's right between two main streets and just down the street from the castle. So they've got this bright yellows, <laughs> bright colors. And that's pretty exciting. I mean, it's fun, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm moving kind of quickly here. There's some other photos of some interesting real estate architecture in the area. That's what it looks like in wintertime. 
it is very clean. <laughs> yeah, the handrail, <laughs> you like that? So here's uh, the shot of the living room. I see there's like 25 people, awesome. You guys go ahead and hit like on this video. It'll help people see this place. Uh, Zungwali, actually, I came here because it's a one-year home community that not many people talk about. And I don't know why, you know, Muzumeli has a lot of attention from news stations or like uh, newspapers and travel uh, blogs because they have a continuation uh, of their, their process. But I was informed today there are properties left here. And so tomorrow, um, we're going to try to check some of them out. So the rest of the house is up here. Yeah, it is new. It's actually pretty rural, like really rural in this area. Um, so we've already kind of made it home. That's our stuff. I'm not going to show you all the rooms. They've got this one locked since we're not going to be using it. This one, my family's already like watching TV and sleeping, so we're not going to go in there. But I like their art. It's nice. We've got like an air conditioning unit up high up here. Uh, I'll show you the bath bathroom first. It's purple or pink. I think it's lilac, lilac actually. Uh, there's another. I, I set the lights like this, but there's actually more just to help us see a little bit better. And then, um, just again, this is like the modern style Italians love. Uh, the colors, I don't know, honestly. That's, I don't know if that's a popular trend right now, but I like somebody like, that puts personality in their home. They also have this basically laminate floor. <laughs> You're jealous of the bidet. Yeah, bidets are um, awesome during COVID. <laughs> I got the TV set up on the wall. The room is very clean, like a vulva. <laughs> so I really want to show you the one year houses. Uh, so they've got some pretty cool, I like uh, the paint job here. It's kind of a metallic, um, has a metallic look to it. So there's like some sparkles inside. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the house. So because I, I don't, yeah, I can turn the camera. Okay, cool. So. I told you I had like a surprise at the end. Basically, I got here and I didn't have plans to enter a one-year home, but the owner of this property, I said, do you know anything about the one-year homes? And he said, yeah, actually. And he tried to explain as if I didn't know anything about them. And I said, like, oh, no, it's okay. You don't have to explain the whole process, just if they have them or not. And they said, yeah, they're still available. Do you want me to go to the commune with you tomorrow to talk to the mayor? And I was like, sweet. So tomorrow, about 10 30 i think we're gonna head over there and uh <laughs> yeah it's it's the south we're uh let me finish my phrase first we're gonna head over there in the morning and talk to the mayor and i honestly think i'll be able to enter a property or two at least i'm not sure how many they have left and we'll get a good idea of what they what they've got at least right even from an external point perspective yeah thanks fuzzy pretty cool they do love their pinks and purples too. So a little bit about this area. Um, the recent news, right, has been basically that Bisacha is the, the new, one of the newest one-year-old home communities. And Cinque Frondi has, has been like that, so one that didn't get affected by the virus. And uh, so those are kind of the two drawing attention right now. Hey, Sophia. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they're nice. Huh? This one's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so she was saying she likes the colors. And for people that are watching later, she likes, Sophia likes the colors and the, the art. Muzumeli always draws attention because of the way they've established themselves. Sambuca just announced a bunch of stuff. Basically, they have two Euro houses because they're going to go through like the second round. And for them, it went really, really well. And so there was some cool stuff on Business Insider on their YouTube channel. They actually shared a video. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's going to be cool. I'm going to check out. Thanks for saying good luck. So anyway, this community is right next to Bisa well, an hour, but an hour away from Bisacha. So I'm actually trying to hit both of them at the same time, uh, kind of coming in slightly unannounced to Bisacha. They don't know I'm going to be showing up this day, but they, we've, we've been conversing. And so, uh, but if I can see what's going on in Zungwili, yeah, it's after midnight <laughs> right now. Hey, what's up, Jenny from London? So 
Uh, if things go really well here, we might get distracted and not have as much time in Bisacha, and that's okay. I've kind of started a dialogue with them anyway. Um, anyway, so that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, go ahead and throw them out there. Press like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already because frankly we're trying to show as many property types as possible here in Italy on this channel, not just the one-year-old homes because one-year homes are great but sometimes they're more expensive in reality. Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, <laughs> you're confusing me speaking Italian fuzzy, it's funny. Uh, anyway, yeah, everyone who liked Joyce says so anyway, that's it really for this video. Uh, well, I was trying to end it with was saying we're trying to show you many, as many property types as possible. I don't know, maybe one year homes isn't your thing, maybe it is. And uh, at least the village tour, yeah. Uh, I'm glad you're looking forward to it. We're gonna definitely accomplish that. And basically, Gubbio, the, the one year old home community, I haven't said its name yet, I, just, I almost slipped it out. But anyway, the, the one year home community next to Gubbio, and, uh, and Zungoli here are upcoming topics. I'm shaking the camera. Anyway, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much. I've got to go. I've got to rest up, basically. I did this live unannounced because usually I, I edit video, and instead of sharing it tomorrow, I could share it today. So thank you, everyone, for watching. We've got 31 people in here right now with 10 minutes notice, and I think that's pretty cool. So thank you all so much for supporting this channel so well. You guys are like the best subscribers I've ever seen. So anyway, have a good night. See you next time.